Are you tired of being overweight? Do you need to lose 100 pounds or more? You clicked on the right video. Let's get in the gym and show you how to start working out to aid your 100 pound weight loss. My first major tip is you have to get moving. Don't worry about it if your gym doesn't have a track. You can get out in your neighborhood and walk right there. I've already done three miles today and I'm encouraging you guys to start with at least 30 minutes a day. It'll evolve, trust me. You'll start doing three miles before you know it. Stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm going to show you my post-workout meal. You are going to be shocked at what I eat. This will bring us to the next tip, which is utilize the machines. You don't have to do free weights your first time out, and uh, you don't ever have to do free weights, actually. I mean, even throughout my 110-pound weight loss journey, you've seen in a lot of my videos that I've done machines the whole way through. Don't let the ego get the best of you. And speaking of ego, you may be scared to approach a buff guy or a fit guy at the gym, but I encourage you, pick out people at the gym that you admire and go up to them and just ask them, Hey, how do you do this? How do you do that? If you're not familiar, you're gonna absolutely benefit from going up to a stranger, putting yourself out there with confidence, and just asking them. People do not mind. One of my biggest tips is to remember to breathe during your reps and keep it nice and controlled. Another successful workout. Let's go eat. stopping here at my favorite taco shop Roberto's and I just want you guys to know I do not recommend this diet to anybody I listen to my body and it turns out some days I like to eat one meal a day uh, a form of intermittent fasting so highly recommend you guys don't completely shut down to the idea of one meal a day or intermittent fasting we'll go over that in another video but um, well the results are right here 110 pounds kept it off for a year Doing pretty well. Hi, how are you? Hello, how are you doing? Ready? Yes, sir. Okay, go ahead. Can I have a California burrito? No pico de gallo? Can I get uh, two beef tacos, a side of sour cream, and a side of guacamole? Consider this a bonus tip. You guys need to find things that you enjoy in the gym, out of the gym, diet wise, or lifestyle change wise, like you can't just eat salads all day long. And I do preach a lot that I drink that Orgain organic smoothie. I'll link the Orgain below so you can get the same exact protein powder that I used for my 110 pound weight loss journey. But you have to let yourself have those cheat meals. I don't even really call them cheat meals because I don't plan them which is another tip, but I've already gone over that in another video, so I'll spare you guys that time. Just do what your body wants, and today I got a lot of activity in. I went in the pool with my daughter, and I really feel like I deserve this. I had a three mile walk, I did chest and triceps at the gym, I didn't show you guys the whole workout, but I can assure you, today was a very active day, and I don't feel shame at all for saving up my calories for that very last meal which is this one, and uh, call me crazy, but it is past midnight right now. I'm gonna scarf this down, and um, when I get home, I'll show you the meal, show you what it has in it for those of you that are not familiar. I think you'll be very surprised that I lost 110 pounds eating like this, but uh, understand, I didn't eat like this every single day. I did intermittent fast most days, 
One meal a day wasn't as common. In the beginning it was. I always talked about this California burrito in some of my very first videos and scattered throughout all of my videos actually. So you'll finally get to see it. You'll see the you'll see what a fat boy meal really looks like. Hopefully it inspires you to start because you don't have to give up all the things that you love and you should never feel that way. I love food more than ever and a matter of fact, I've, I've fallen in love with healthy foods and I've fallen in love with activity during this journey. So restricting yourself too much can be a very bad thing, I feel like. I didn't count calories throughout this whole journey. The intermittent fasting surely did restrict my calories. I'm not saying that it's not calories in, calories out, but you also have to keep a healthy mindset about this. My family always talked about calories, points everything growing up and while it did give me a good idea of what was going on with what I was eating well I stayed fat and as soon as I let go and I just started listening to my body things really started happening for me and you can go back to my earliest videos and throughout my whole journey and see that happen right here on this channel I do appreciate you guys please click the subscribe button and ring that notification bell so you never miss another video. And get in the comment section and tell me about your struggles to ask me questions. I'm here. I'm going to answer questions for free. If you do want to sign up for coaching, you can sign up by emailing me at dadbodtobaddad at gmail.com and I will be more than happy to help you along your journey and motivate you and inspire you personally. But guys, you got to get started today and I preach that in all of my videos and I know I'm a broken record but my method works and whether you want to believe it or not, that's fine. I just want to get this information out to you guys for free and help a lot of people because I've struggled with this my whole life too and I know how it feels to be overweight. I know how it feels not to be able to bend over and tie your shoe without being out of breath. I know how it feels just to get up every day and uh, not knowing if your clothes are going to fit that day and just knowing that feeling that you don't look good in your clothes and you don't feel comfortable in your skin. Guys, it is very possible. I'm just a regular guy. A regular guy that works a regular job here in Las Vegas, which I guess is not so regular, but uh, I, that's another topic. But um, just get started. Just get started. What do you have to lose? And talk to me. Get down there in the comment section. Email me. I'd love to hear from you guys. Two beef tacos and a California burrito. California burritos have carne asada, french fries, cheese, and uh, a real California burrito from San Diego will usually have some sour cream and guac, but I'm not in San Diego, I'm in Las Vegas, so we will have to make do. Here goes that guacamole. Here goes that sour cream. Okay, I'll show you my taco. Where's the beef?